Well, that's a fairground windmill. I'm sure you've seen one of those before. The wind, or in this case, my breath, hits the curved blades and causes them to rotate. Other things can make the blades rotate as well. In this tin can, I have boiling water. When water changes into water vapour, it takes up more than 600 times as much space. And so there's a pressure building up inside the can. But I have a hole in the top of the can, so there's a jet of steam issuing from that hole. And if I hold the windmill above that, you can see that the blades begin to turn. So it's a sort of steam engine, it's doing work. Now that's a fairly big, heavy set of blades. If I make a little windmill out of aluminium foil, and here's one with curved blades attached by a pin to a pencil, I can make that spin by blowing, or I can hold that over the jet of steam and we can make that spin quite rapidly. So there's a steam engine of one kind, but there are many other kinds as well. Curiosity.